Oh shit. Oh no, what did I do to my car? Hello everybody, Pazico here, and today we are playing Fears to Fathom, Episode 2, Norwood Hitchhike. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this down for the internet first, but getting it out may help, even just a little bit. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I go to every convention I get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. That's why you order ahead. This convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over a 12 hour drive, Shouldn't text and drive, but why not? Drive safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. You got it, Dad. Oh, jeez! Anything else? Leaving now. Drive safe. I'm driving safe. Totally. What do you mean? Let's see. Discord, we got it, thanks. So I'll see if I can get the car. I'll let you know if I finally get to take Milo on a walk. <laughs> All right. Okay, the plan is on. We're just going to sit here and read them. Why not? They're just talking. Big girl, you sure Ash can't come? I'll get the skateboard too. Saw this really cool skate park nearby. Sounds fun. Discord. Where are you? Almost there. Peach shirt? Ah! It was fun. I had a good time. Thanks for joining me. Are you sure driving all the- Are you, again, you sure driving all the way back? I don't really have a choice now, do I? Could have left tomorrow morning. Okay, give me a call when you reach back to your cave. Okay, Dad. Not sure if it'll be this lifetime, though. What do you mean? Stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the country. That sucks. It's not too good, either. I think it was the people from the convention. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. Holly definitely has a diversified musical taste, and I'm digging it. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. 12-hour drive, and you're just now halfway on the gas? You get... Amazing gas mileage. I would definitely go for a plane ticket if I had the chance. So much bullshit can happen on a road trip, but hey. I admit I was a terrible driver. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the hell? I fell off the map? <laughs> It's amazing I can run straight into a truck and land perfectly on my wheel. Which side is the gas valve on? Whatever. Ah. Where do I put the gas?
Hello? Just buy a bunch of these. All right, what else they got here? Some prune juice. Some juices that may need to be refrigerated. Hello. How's your night going? You just looked at me. Okay. Where are you headed? He just looked at me. Great talk. What happened to the coffee? I didn't need it. Then why did you grab it? Can I get $10 on pump two? Halfway through a whole road trip. And you're only going to pay $10 for gas? It's not even going to fill up the whole tank. You heading to the bridge by yourself? The bridge? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. What do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. A whole century? And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. Can I use the toilet? It's not cleaned. Okay. I mean, I did just drink a bunch of liquid. I guess I'll just go outside. And one more thing. If you see a woman in white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Who is she? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstances, pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. Thanks for the tip. Some, did that dude just mess with my car? Holly? Mom? I don't know if you'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get some for Milo? I'll pay you back. Uh, yeah, maybe there might be dog food in the store. A little pug, Pat Pat. That'll be five dollars. I mean, shoot, maybe gas is like 99 cents over here. Very efficient gas car. Now we're back on the road. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them looks just like you and me. Yeah, people are the monsters, I get it. My lights are all screwed up. Get out of the way! Nope, he does not want me to overtake him. Oh shit! Uh, 
Oh no, what did I do to my car? It's okay, we can still we can still get out of this. Yep, we're gonna be f <laughs> we're gonna be fine. The suspension's become a little stiff. Oh no. I think I died, and now I'm in limbo. Uh... What the hell? Okay, I went and got a new car. There's this very weird thing about that night. I saw two big logs in the middle of the road blocking the way ahead. Thought I could drive past the logs, but those wouldn't budge. It almost seemed as if someone deliberately, but I didn't think much of it at the time. Oh, these were heavy. Let go of the log! What a perfect time to have the car break down. I don't want to flood it. And just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. I'm not saying that I was starting to believe whatever the bullcrap that gas station clerk pulled. But I would be lying if I said I didn't feel the slightest of an ease. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but... Throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. But at that moment, I had no choice. I was scared to think of how long it would take for someone to pass. Ten twenty three PM I saw a car nearing. Pure evil. Can't really blame him. I didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. Something smoking over here. Is it the battery? Help! 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 Hi. You're the girl from a gas station. Oh, now you're talking to me? Didn't think anyone would stop here for me. Uh, yeah, hi. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? 
where are you heading to? Just to the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait while I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Okay. Just gonna leave my car lights on, leave the key in the ignition. It would really suck if he just left with all my stuff. I'm done. Hurry up, I need to get moving now. I'm done. Finally, now hop in, be quick. Kind of clean. Just turn on the radio. Just start messing with his buttons. So you won't tell me who you are or where you're going. I was driving home. And that piece of crap broke down on me. What? My name's Jason. Oh, I'm Holly. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say, you're a one brave young woman. What's that supposed to mean? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? Well, the battery was working fine, it's just the car wouldn't start. It's an old car, with great gas mileage. That's it? I think so. What do you think, Jason? So... What do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? He really creeped me out. He's funny. Uh, he really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. So is it true? What, the monster? Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are... some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. Just stay out of their way and everything will be fine. Got it. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. Oh, you mean not talking to me? That's fine. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Thanks, Jason. Good guy, that Jason. The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Gal need a room to shack up for the night? How much is it for a room? $40 for single. Pay cash only. Room number nine, right over there. Hey, about my car. $90. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Oof, $130. Don't really have much of a choice. Good, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. 
try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. What kind of people do you house here, man? Oh no, the texts aren't getting delivered. Dad, you may have to stay at a motel tonight. Where did you reach? Why are you not picking up the call? What do you mean, reroute? Ollie? Hey, where you at? Your dad's calling me. It's nice and warm inside. Except there was a smell, a type of musky smell. This is just straight up playing a Superman episode? Alright, well that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go grab my stuff. Or not? What are you doing in here? You scared the crap out of me. I should be asking you. I'm Tommy, room service here at the Roadway Inn, the finest stopover in Norwood. What are you doing in here? You know, cleaning stuff. Guy at the front desk gave me this room. Uh, I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff in the meantime. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry, it's safe here. I'll go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If need anything, just ask the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. But you have a good night. Right. Get the hell out of my room, please. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna go get my car right now? Alright, now what? Go to sleep? Cool. Is someone taking a bath? the hell? Called a foresight, but there was something very off about this place. You think so? I couldn't help shake the feeling that something wasn't right. The feeling tiredness was overcome by anxiety. A hot cup of coffee could help, I thought to myself. They're out of everything but espresso and cappuccino. I guess I'll just take a cappuccino. What was in that coffee?
I was sedated. That looks like Joe. Let's open the door. Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are so red? It was the coffee machine. I was roofied. Are you messing with me? We don't have no coffee machine here. It's right over there! Okay, okay, here. I've had enough of your crazy goons here. For once I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Just follow me. I hate my job. My eyes are all bloodshot. How much marijuana did he give me? It was here, man! Go back to the room. I swear to God it was right here. I said, go back now. There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. What's going on with that creepy building, dude? Is that your house? And why is he telling me to take medication? I thought that was my medication, but telling me to take some random medication? That doesn't sound right. Oh, I'm about to get drugged again, am I? Didn't feel safe going out. Take a bath. Take some more water. Now do I go back to bed? What was that? Somebody, did you guys hear that? It said hello? Hello? Who is it? Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please, please open the door. 
If you need help, you can go to the front desk. I know you're in there. Maybe I should just hide. Oh. I can't actually talk. I don't want to open the door. Please, just leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. What does that have to do with anything? Go away or I'm calling the cops. Pretty lady, come on. Okay, this time, I'm just not going to say anything. Yo, he came to save the day! To this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get police involved as it would have affected the motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Yeah, everybody in the motel was crazy, it seems. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I always take airplanes. You could save a lot on airplane tickets if you order a couple months in advance. You'd be surprised in how much you save. Alright, we survived the night! That was episode 2 of Fears to Fathom. This one was definitely a little bit more polished than the first game, giving you a little bit more to do and more areas to explore. Looking forward to the third game, which we're going to play here soon. Thank you all for stopping by. I hope you all enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing it. With that said, everybody, this has been Bazigal. Take care. <laughs>